Hi, Rochelle with Lady Fermenter. Today we're going to bottle Belgian beers using two types of Belgian bottles. One with a normal cap and one cork and cage. Okay, so today we're going to cover how to use Belgian bottles both ways. First way we're going to cover is using regular bottle caps with a Belgian bottle. So what you will need is a Belgian bottle that accepts regular caps and regular beer caps and you will need a bench capper. Now, pro tip, this type of capper will not work because it'll break your bottle. So learn from our mistake. So Belgian bottles, normal beer cap, and a bench capper. And then you're just going to adjust the height and then cap the bottle. Easy. Now the other way is cork and cage. Now we have a 375 ml or 12 ounce bottle and a 750 ml or 25 ounce bottle. Both will use the same corks and cages. And you can see the difference in these bottles. Okay, so this one take a normal bottle cap and this one will take cork and cage. All right now for the cork and cage method you are going to need a wine corker. Belgian bottles that accept corks and cages and of cork of course Belgian corks and the cage. And you will also need a block of wood because you do not want this, this um, cork to go all the way into the bottle. You want to create like this mushroom effect. So this is the effect that you want using cork and cage. Now, a very practical reason for using Belgian bottles is Belgian beers are typically higher carbonated beers and these Belgian bottles are designed to withstand that carbonation so that you don't have bottle bombs. So the last thing you want to do is put all this work into a great beer and then have explosions and broken bottles. And so now we'll show you um, just a couple You need to have a block and you need to have your piece all the way down so that when you cork it, the cork doesn't go all the way into the bottle. And so you have that mushroom cap. And then after that, you put the cage on top. So we'll do a couple so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so we've got the corks in the bottles, beer and corks in the bottles. You can see we didn't go all the way in. That what that's what gives it that mushroom effect. And now we're gonna put the cage over the top. And I'm just gonna hold it down. I'm just gonna take a pen and I'm just gonna twist and drop the pen. I'm just gonna twist the cage until it's nice and tight. And I'll continue to drop the pen just because it's always good to test that we have gravity. So that test was successful. We do have gravity. Okay. And you take the cap off. And then you just fold it up. And that's it. All right. I'll do a couple more. These are um, 12 ounce bottles or 375 ml. Again, cage on top of cork and pen inside the little hole. I'd probably get a different pen or a dowel or the pen cap doesn't keep popping off. Nice and tight 
and fold. Size doesn't matter in this case. Same size opening on either size Belgian bottle. This is a 750 ml or 25 ounce. We're going to do the same process. Cork is in there without being all the way into the bottle. It's a little bit of a mushroom cap. Pen goes in to the little ring and you just twist it until it's nice and tight and then fold up. There you go. Voila. So there you have it. That's how to use Belgian bottles. And thanks a pint for watching.